first look at Descendant 11 ROM based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Descendant 11 ROM based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Do note, this is an unofficial build and link to the telegram group where you can find this build can be found in the description of this video as you can see security patch is from april 2021 and the kernel they are using is arrow kernel so descendant is a different rom with a different ui which is not everybody's cup of tea me personally i like the ui you may not like the changes which they have done on top of aosp so you do have pixel launcher and this is how your recents are going to look like screenshot works without any issues and you have the option to delete the screenshot as well tap on select again working without any issues next thing volume panel bam here it is this is how the volume panel looks like again as i mentioned earlier it is a bit different but have a look at those super smooth animations they are different and unique then this is how your quick settings panel look like now the time of course on the top was cut out when we accessed it for the first time but that might have been a small glitch so this is your quick settings panel here is your battery percentage wi-fi settings icon time on top left and in case you have any events scheduled in your calendar they will show up over here tap on any of the icons so here it is i tapped on the battery icon and it took me to the battery page let us expand the quick settings panel but before that the blur and zoom effect works without any issues when you access your quick settings panel and this is different unique brightness slider swipe down you see the edit option appeared on the top right here it is it is not visible right now once you see all the icons the edit icon is there so here are the different tiles which are available and here is the second page of tiles tap on the edit icon and here are the other tiles which you can add in case you want to if you tap on the three dot menu the only option you have is to reset and seriously have a look at the icon animation for the edit icon pretty dope in my opinion then let us have a look at the google feed so here it is this is how your google feed is and of course there are no jitters and no lags now another thing which we would of course like to check is turn on the screen recording and the panel of course is at the bottom let us select device audio and microphone and start it so the screen recording has started let us check if there is any lag in the ui well there is definitely some slowness in the ui and yep there is a definite visible lag in the ui when you access stuff when the screen recording is going on so that of course is one of the downsides of the current build now once the screen recording has finished successfully in case you want to share it you do have the option of sharing it as for the power menu this is how your power menu looks like with a cool looking transparent effect next up let us have a look at the lock screen so double tap to wake works without any issues and if you press and hold on the clock as you can see now i can swipe to change the clock face so here it is i can switch between the different clock faces and let us say i like this one press and hold and bam this is my new lock screen clock which does look pretty dope now a feature which descendant added with the april build which is missing on the build on the poco f1 is the minus one lock screen and we do have a separate video showing you those features which can be found in the description of this video next thing let us check if hey google is working or not so as you can see on your screen hey google works with the screen turned on let us turn the screen off and see if hey google are you awake yep there it is you can see hey google works with the screen turned off as 
well next thing we can do is press and hold on the empty space go into styles and wallpapers and here it is you do have the pixel 5 curated culture and mandalorian wallpapers baked in go into clock you do have a bunch of different lock screen clocks and you can also change the grid style in case you want to next thing let us jump into settings so this is how the settings page looks like and again this is different from the april update i think the developer is using the march build as a base but they have added the april security patch so if you go into network and internet tap on the wi-fi name tap on it one more time you do have the disconnect option tap on advanced you do have the option to auto connect on a per wi-fi basis then while you're still in network and internet in case you want your network traffic monitor enable the toggle and you have the arrows in your status bar similarly you have airplane mode and other options as well next up we do have descendant health so herein you can track the covid cases for your location you have a toggle for sleep notification and screen on notification now the latest build does have another option over here which shows you the number of times you've unlocked your device on your lock screen then jumping over to apps and notification see all apps let us select the browser app which is kiwi browser which is the default browser for this rom and then if you go into permissions you will see you have two new options network and sensor so of course in case you want kiwi browser to not access your network feel free to deny this and then you can also deny you know sensors permission for a specific application so this is something which only descendant has as far as i know then you also have the toggle to remove the permissions if the application is not used for some time and other than that for your apps and notifications you do have bubbles which of course work without any issues notification history is also present now do note that whatsapp does not support android 11 bubbles right now then you have a toggle to not touch your heads up notifications in case you want the cool looking reticker notification you have a toggle for that as well and once you enable this the toggle to enable app background for your reticker notification also becomes active then we have battery so right off the bat you will notice that your battery usage graph is on the battery page you do not have to like tap on the three dot menu and then select battery usage to see the graph the graph is right here as soon as you enter the battery options then you do have battery saver and you can set a schedule for your battery saver based on the routine or based on your percentage then adaptive battery is present you have a toggle for battery percentage descendant does have its own idle manager which will increase your battery efficiency and they do recommend that you leave it turned on then you also have last full charge and screen usage since last full charge moving over to display you can of course configure your brightness level then you can schedule your dark theme at a custom time or from sunset to sunrise screen timeout is present along with screen attention do note screen attention is going to use the front camera to see whether you're looking at the screen or not then you have a toggle for auto rotate screen for colors you have three different options natural boosted and adaptive then you can change font size display size and you do have a pretty cool looking one-handed mode which they call thumb ui so this is how the ui looks right now let us enable this and as you can see everything shifted down and you can now use your device with one hand moving over to lock screen so you can configure the notifications you want to see on the lock screen in case you want to skip the lock screen after face unlock you have a toggle for that add any text to lock screen now playing is broken then you have the option for ambient display and sensors so here you have pickup hand wave and pocket mode always on display schedule is present and you should have a quick setting tile for always on display as well let us see if i can find it well unfortunately for the poco f1 you do not have the aod tile which means that that option is useless for the poco f1 now going back into display and lock screen let us see if you have the option for explicitly enabling your always on display so let us say i want to enable it from 8 a.m to 8 7 p.m all right so right now it is 11 21 a.m and i have 
enabled it let us see if it is working or not nope so that option is useless for the poco f1 because they have not enabled aod then you do have double tap to wake enable the blur ui and styles application so once you go into styles application from display settings you can of course change your theme as well only one theme is baked out of the box so you only have the default theme in case you want to add a custom theme you can do that you do have a bunch of font options for icon options you have only four options accent colors multiple options for the accent color as well and then for icon shapes also you have different options give it a custom name or just select apply and as you can see the theme was applied without any issues white and red in the building looking super dope and super cool next up we have sound so you can of course change the different volumes then you have a toggle for showing or hiding the media player in your quick settings shortcut to prevent ringing once you enable the master toggle you can press power and volume up together to switch between vibrate mute and do not disturb then you have toggles for all these different options but what is important here are the next three toggles so you have enable expanded button in the volume panel so once i enable this volume panel you see this small arrow which means you don't have to interact with the volume panel first here is the arrow tap on it it is expanded similarly you also have toggles for pausing the media if the volume is set to zero or reduced to zero and you can also enable the toggle to resume the audio from wherever it was paused once you increase the volume so those are the options for sound and before we continue we did have the android 11 easter egg cat captured and as you can see works without any issues along with bubbles so no issues with respect to bubbles either the next option you have here is privacy so you do have descendant guardia which is like if something is accessing your camera it is going to tell you if something accesses your location you'll get a notification and we do have a complete separate video showing off descendant guardia which can be found in the description of this video moving over to security so you do have screen lock fingerprint is present and yes you do have ir face unlock along with app locker and both those options work without any issues next up let us go into system and gestures so you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice then you also have the option to activate the torch when the screen is turned off so let us turn the screen off press and hold bam torch enabled press and hold one more time torch turned off no issues to report next up in gestures you have system navigation so you can choose between three different options if you're using gesture navigation tap on settings you can configure the sensitivity for the left and the right edge and in case you want to hide the bar at the bottom you have the slider for that as well works without any issues then prevent ringing we already talked about this in sound and yes you do have three finger screenshot and we did enable it right now let us try it out there it is working without any issues now do note the latest april build of descendant does have long screenshot which is missing in this current build for the poco f1 then you can also customize your power menu so you can enable or disable your device controls which are going to appear over here if you have any smart devices connected and in case you want to not see sensitive content then you have a toggle for that as well on your lock screen then you also have skip music tracks so once you enable the toggle you can long press the volume rocker to skip tracks when playing music even remotely playing music on your tv or your pc so a pretty nifty feature to have next thing we can check for is safety net so my device is not rooted right now and i do have the latest canary build of magisk manager installed let us check for safety net and there it is you can see safety net is passing without any issues let us go to the google play store and herein let us go into the play store settings and about phone as you can see play protection device is certified this means i should be able to use my banking apps without any issues now in terms of youtube media playback everything works without any issues live caption picture in picture both those features work of course for 
picture in picture you either need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium next up let us open the photos application and let me try to edit a picture of my favorite football star and let us see if we have the portrait light feature or not wait for the loading bar to finish going to adjust portrait light feature is present and as you can see on your screen right now it works without any issues next up let us check the app opening animations so as you can see everything is pretty smooth no jitters and no lags try to access the recents here it is no jitters no lags while accessing the recents either google feed is present no jitters no lags here as well try to switch between a few applications and again nothing wrong in that respect either so all in all another great build of android 11 for the poco f1 and of course as i mentioned earlier descendant 11 is a bit unique when it comes to the ui and not everybody likes it and there it is peeps that was our first look at descendant 11 rom based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you